Elizabeth Butkey is a local author who has put together a collection of stories of life growing up in a small mountain community. She joins us here on Daytime to talk about her latest book, Deep in the Holler. Thanks so much for joining us, Elizabeth. Welcome. Yeah, so this is really exciting. This is not only a collection of stories based on the town that you grew up in mm -hmm. and your life, but this is your first book as well. Congratulations. Yes. So that must be really exciting for Really you. exciting. Yeah. Something I never dreamed would happen. Yeah, so what kind of got you started in writing and what made you decide to write a book about kind of your life growing up? Uh, I've always been a, uh, writing. Even when I was young, I would write short stories and stuff. But I had an aunt in Pennsylvania, and I would write her these little tales mm -hmm. to cheer up, you know. And then someone suggested I submit them to a publisher, and I did, to Jane Carroll Publishing. And they uh, offered to publish them. Wow, that's mm -hmm. great. Yeah. And so it's kind of based off of your life yes. right here in Tennessee, right? Yeah, growing up in Flag Pond. Right outside of Irwin. Right, right outside of Irwin. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And so can you give us maybe like a sneak peek of one of the stories that's in your book? Uh, there's one in there that uh, seems to be everyone's favorite. It's <laughs> the station wagon. Okay. And it's the time my dad took our station wagon and made it into a truck and my mother had a fit. <laughs> My brother was embarrassed to ride in it. it was, we just had fun times. Oh, that Real is fun times. that is really fun. I can only imagine mm -hmm. having a parent turn one of their yeah. cars into a truck. My dad was like that. Yeah, that is yeah. too funny. And then one of your other uh, kind of stories that's really popular is an apple butter story too, right? Yes. And, you know, now they make apple butter on the stove. Right. But I always wanted to do it back, like in the old days. So I taught my grandmother and mom to do it in her backyard and let me see how it was actually done. And it turned out to be more work than fun. <laughs> <laughs> so how end. do you do it in the backyard? I don't even oh, you, know that. You build a fire, uh -huh. you have your big kettle, your apple butter, big you no know, apple butter right. st stick is what it is. And uh, it takes all day. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm sure. Kind of having to take turns going out and stirring yeah. it and checking on yeah. it, right? Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. And so what's great too is that you've actually teamed up with a local artist as well, right? Yeah, Helen Low Cook. She's from down in Tennessee. She used to have a gallery in Gatlinburg. Mm -hmm. uh, I came across her page on uh, social media accidentally and asked her if she'd do the cover and she offered to. and. Her art is just beautiful. And so this is her first book cover as well. Kind of uh, pairs yeah, with your I, first book. I'm the first person she's did a book cover for besides her own. Oh, that's mm -hmm. wonderful. Well, Elizabeth, thank you so much. And this will be out coming up uh, first week of March. And Hopefully. people can buy it on Amazon, mm -hmm. Barnes & Noble. Mm -hmm. And you will be having a book signing, right? Yes, and I will post that in local paper. Wonderful. So people can come and talk to you about some of the stories about growing up yes. here in Tennessee. All right, Elizabeth, thank you so thank much. Thank you. For more information about her book, make sure you check out the information at the bottom of your screen. Now back over to the kitchen.